magic. Hi guys, Nancy Trekker here. Welcome back to my 75 mile journey through the Bob Marshall Wilderness. This episode marks my first day solo after parting ways with my guide. Join me as I navigate the East Side South Fork Trail, meet a dedicated trail crew, and learn about an ancient survival practice. Let's go. This morning, I woke with a mix of excitement and apprehension. Traveling alone in the wilderness brings its own set of challenges, but it also offers a unique sense of freedom. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife The main South Fork Trail number 80 is a scenic path that winds alongside the east side of the South Fork of the Flathead River, offering breathtaking views and the soothing sounds of flowing water. It's a peaceful start to this leg of my journey. After a few hours of hiking, I reached the Big Prairie Ranger Station. Here I had the chance to meet a hardworking trail crew. These folks spend their days maintaining the trails to ensure they remain accessible for hikers like me. even have a garden here. The crew also shared some fascinating knowledge about the land and its history. They taught me about the ancient Aboriginal practice of consuming the cambium of ponderosa pines. In times of scarcity, Indigenous peoples would harvest the inner bark, which is rich in nutrients and can sustain life when other food sources are scarce. You can still see the scars from the axes. It's amazing to think about the deep connection and knowledge of the land that Indigenous peoples have carried through generations. Right, so it's 12.30 here. I'm just leaving Big Prairie Ranger Station and Guy, the ranger there, told me that it's seven miles to the White River. So that's a good easy hike. All the trail is cleared. Um, I'll put that map up. All the trails cleared in 2024 thanks to the forest rangers and the Bob Marshall Foundation um, and many other volunteers and organizations that maintain the trails. So I should hit White River easy tonight.
Continuing my journey, I eventually found the White River. The heat of the day made it the perfect place for a cooling swim. There's something incredibly refreshing about immersing yourself in nature like this. It reinvigorates your spirit and prepares you for the miles ahead. I'm just walking along the White River. And that is the Continental Divide right there. After a rejuvenating swim, I traveled along the White River until I found a suitable campsite. Setting up camp here, surrounded by the sounds of the river and the wilderness, was the perfect end to a challenging yet rewarding day. Well, it's 7.30. I think this is gonna be my camping site for the night. What do you guys think? This is the White River. Gorgeous. Being alone in the wilderness can be daunting, but it also brings a profound sense of connection to the world around you. Stay tuned for the next episode as I continue my solo adventure through the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Until then, happy trekking, stay curious, and remember that the wilderness has a way of teaching us about ourselves.